following is a demonstration of the CATIA V5 Prismatic Machining Preparation Assistant and Process Catalogs. In this demonstration, we will look at design preparation, design feature analysis, global feature recognition, automatic pattern creation, applying the process catalog, and machining simulation and verification. Now let's have a look at preparing the design. Preparing the design for the manufacturing environment is a very easy process and takes little in the way of interaction from the user. The most important part is that the best practices and proper design methods are used at the outset of the design. From the design workbench, the NC programmer just needs to switch to the prismatic machining workbench and the model is placed in the NC environment. The best thing is that there is no translations to any other format and the model remains at CATIA V5 part with all the features as designed. Now, here is the part in the part design workbench. From the start menu, we can select machining, then prismatic machining, and the part is moved into the machining workbench. Next, we're going to change the machining axis system to create the machining direction. This machining axis is used to define the orientation on the machine as well as the pickup point. We can create multiple orientations and multiple zero locations using this method. Also, you'll notice that all the part features are still shown in the tree for the CATIA V5 CAT part. Now let's have a look at the two parts. The two parts are plates from the ejector system of a plastic ejection mold and contain the following features as outlined on the next two slides. One of the important things of these models is that the features contain tolerances and it's these tolerances that will be used to drive the type of NC toolpath that is applied to each feature or pattern of features. This is one of the benefits of using CATIA V5NC along with CATIA V5 part file. When you maintain the link and the feature recognition of the native part, you gain much in the way of better machining and better results. Non-native machining with applications that require a step, IGIS, or intermediate translation loses capability. The next step in this process involves running the global feature recognition tool from within the prismatic machining workbench. This tool is the automatic method used for organizing and utilizing the features of a CATIA V5 CAT part. Features such as holes, slots, pockets, and complex steps are recognized and automatically assigned to the appropriate machining features. The other thing that this tool does is create the patterns or features that are the same and grouped according to the user-defined parameters. Next, from the appropriate menu, the NC programmer selects Global Feature Recognition. Then, you can set your parameters for the feature recognition and pattern creation. These parameters define how the features are grouped and if the features are analyzed for. After this step, the NC programmer can select the part body as a part to analyze. CATIA then will return what it has found and create it in a dialog box for you to view. CATIA stores all this information in what is called the manufacturing view. This view can be configured to show different manufacturing features. Here we will sort by machining features and what is shown is the machinable axial features. Further down in the list will be prismatic machining features and any patterns that have been created. Now let's have a look at process catalogs. The process catalog is where the real work is accomplished. Applying the process catalog can be done in two different ways. Apply it to a single feature through the catalog browser command or use a process application tool to apply a process or group of processes to features or patterns. From the icons, the NC programmer can select the Machining Process Manager. This will bring up the window and you will see that there is process catalog already selected. And in that list are selectable machining processes to apply. The programmer will also have to bring up the Manufacturing View window in order to select the features or patterns to machine. These features will show up in the Feature Selection list. The programmer then decides on the processes to apply followed by the OK button. This applies the processes and creates the tool pass in the tree. This exact same process applies for using process catalogs and features such as pockets or profiles. 
The process catalog creation is a natural extension of the NC programming process. One programmer can be dedicated to creating the process catalogs and the processes, and the rest of the NC programming team can apply them. This in turn makes every NC programmer your best programmer. The NC process catalog file starts as a standard blank NC process. The only thing that it contains are the tools used in the process and the process itself. The machining process is organized and grouped by the programmer in a way that they want to machine the part. Here we see the list of the machining strategies as they're organized into the process. You'll also see here that there are two other important parts of the machining process. These two parts are the tool queries and the process checks. The check shown in this clip is being used to sort out which features are going to be machined. Here, there is a check for the hole diameter, threaded features, and a tolerance check. These checks can be very specific or they can be very general. Manufacturing verification is an important part of the NC programming process. It allows the NC programmer to detect errors in geometry or dual pass strategies early in the process and before the part is actually run on the machine. It can also allow toolpath optimization and adjustment prior to posting. KTV5 has full motion video replay, full stock removal simulation, and remaining stock analysis tools. I'd like to thank you for taking your time to watch a short demonstration.